It was around late July, 1999, in the sudden Courtney gravel pits, just outside my hometown of Didcot, Oxfordshire, when I spotted a large black cat. I was on my way to a lake, which was one of my regular fishing spots. It was a typical calm summer's evening, around seven o'clock. Driving down a gravel track at about 20 miles per hour due to multiple speed ramps, then striding out of some tall grass at the track side, some 50 feet away, came a large black cat which stepped onto the track. Nothing can, I accelerated towards it and stopped two to three meters away. I jumped out of the car, now being more cautious, not wanting to get any closer, I stood on the door sill. I looked over the car and watched as the cat rounded a fence post and made its way back into the tall grass and vanished as quickly as it had appeared. The cat was about five or six feet long with a long tail, nearly as long as its body and about three feet in height. It was very short for its size, but very muscular with big pads and paws. And black all over, my best guess is that it was either a puma or jaguar with big pads and paws and black all over. It continued to walk back into the grass. Upon getting five meters away from me, it seemed to duck and disappeared from my view. I never told anyone about this because I thought nobody else would believe me. Numida's clothes encounter is the latest in a long line of supposed big cat sightings in Oxfordshire. In August, West Oxfordshire dog walker Fraser Downer thought he spotted a panther-like creature on Stonesfield Common near Showbury. Oxford resident Steve Archibald, who runs the website bigcatsightings.com, believes there are definitely breeding populations of big cats in the UK, if not in Oxfordshire. This picture, which hangs on the wall at the Mason's Arms pub in Breers Norton, shows the oft-sighted beast of Fur Ford supposedly creeping through a nearby field. 